Hello guys, this is Silvershade and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a case insensitive prefix. So some people might tell you to use all the cases of the prefix like this, you know, but if you have a big prefix like this, first of all, it's difficult to do that. You know, if you have a big prefix, you can use a permutation code to do that for you, but it's gonna give you a big list. So if we take this, this has a length of six. So it's gonna be two to the power of six elements, which is 64 elements. So you're actually passing 64 elements here which is going to be really inefficient. So I've made a basic bot here, which has a function get prefix. So in case you're using custom prefixes, you're going to probably have something like this. So get prefix, it takes the bot and then the message. And then I've not put anything there because I'm just showing you so it returns this list of two prefixes one with a space and one without a space okay so down here I have this command which takes in all the text after the command and then it sends this okay so if I use the command prefix cmd and then something I'm gonna get this so I can also do prefix and then cmd and then anything else it's still gonna work because I've used case insensitive equals true while initializing my bot object. But if I use different cases in the prefix, so prefix cmd and then something, I'm not gonna get anything because the prefix is not case sensitive. So to do that, we're gonna use a method called process commands inside of an on message event. So I'm just gonna quickly make an on message event. So at bot dot event async define on underscore message and then it takes the message and then I'm just gonna pass So as soon as I do that, you'll notice that my commands have stopped working, so I can't do anything. So this is because the on message event is blocking the commands. So to unblock it, we're gonna use the bot. So it's a core routine. We're gonna do await bot dot process commands, which takes in a message. So the message is msg. So this is automatically done when you don't have an on message event. But since we have it, we're gonna do it manually. And then now if I run this, My commands are working again. So 
we have this now what we're gonna do is before sending the message for it to process the commands we're gonna change the content of the message and make the prefix lowercase so to do that first we're gonna check if it starts with the prefix so i'm just gonna do if msg.content.lower dot starts with and then I'm gonna pass in the prefix which doesn't have a space after it if I pass in the one with space in it if you use the command without space it's gonna mess up so over here I'm gonna do get prefix and I'm gonna pass in the bot and the message so now it's gonna send us this list so we need only the second one without the space so I'm gonna put the index 1 okay so let's just test this I'm gonna print start Okay, so if I run this and then do it did receive the command and it did send starts which means it started with the prefix but if I send another one maybe just I'm gonna send this we don't get starts again okay so once we get to know that it does start with the prefix we're gonna replace the prefix inside of the message.content with the lower case of the prefix so We're gonna have to use this like twice, so I'm just gonna make a variable instead of that. I have pfx pfx equals this, okay? And then I'm gonna reassign message dot content to msg dot content of everything up to the length of prefix and then so it's gonna return this which has length 6 so this is gonna be just the prefix since we already know the prefix the message starts with the prefix okay so we're gonna lower it dot lower and then to it we're gonna concatenate message dot content and then everything from length of prefix okay so I think you got to know what I did so we have this message.content so imagine this is our message.content prefix cmd So now it's gonna check if the lower of message.content which is gonna be 
prefix cmd starts with the second element element of prefix which is this so yes it does start with that so it goes inside here and it's gonna take this message.content up to len of prefix which is gonna be six and then it's gonna lower it and then after that it's gonna put the rest of the message.content as it is and then it sends the message to process commands okay so let me just remove that and we're gonna try this so rerun and let me just do caps so now it did receive the command so you can do anything you want maybe prefix cmd something so that works even if you don't pass in the space i guess prefix cmd add something yes 